Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro. And today we got one hot off the truck with the Target exclusive Ultimate Edition Undertaker. Let's have a quick look at the package before we get too deep into it. The dead man doing dead man things. Undertaker, six foot ten inches from Death Valley. Finisher, of course, Tombstone, and maybe the Choke Slam. I think I would qualify that as as one as well. Uh, career highlight, World Heavyweight Champion. Now I believe this is from his kind of like 2007 to 2009 reign. I think in 2008 he was a the heavyweight champion there. So. Um, Worth noting there, not maybe not the most iconic Undertaker, but kind of one where you kind of thought he was slowing down. But uh, as we all know, he had a good another 10 plus years running him. But enough of that. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what's going on. All right, we got Undertaker free from his at least his outer shell here, and I figured once I saw that there was no tie downs, I said, "Oh man, we can just do this together." But there you go, a little cool cape going on there. Hold this out. Yeah, and he, this is, like I was saying, this is from 2008, 2009 time frame. And this is an era of WWE that I really missed. Um, you know, the kind of the ruthless aggression, beginning of John Cena, all that type of stuff. I really missed out on that. Was, you know, at that time in the military, and kind of came back from Afghanistan, was really, really into it. Um, there for a good, probably, you know, six, seven months. Uh, as I was kind of out processing and doing all that stuff, I was, you know, hanging out and order pizza and do all that fun stuff and watch some raw. But for the mass majority of the time, I just, I just missed out on it. So it's kind of cool now, thanks to the, you know, the network and the talk, I guess now. Being able to go back and, and relive some of those things and, and uh, I guess not even relive it, really, just experience it for the first time. Um, and kind of see that era and, and kind of what you missed and what made some of these guys great um, during that time. But all right, let's get into the accessories. We'll start off with kind of simple here. He's got his uh, Undertaker hat. It is a hat. And uh, that's about all we got to say about that. Nice hat, nice hat. He does have the uh, WWE kind of... Um, I guess, lack of a better word, bastardized um, version of the big gold belt here. Uh, but all the same, the belt that I always like to get, and they did do the deco hits here with like the uh, rubies um, on the uh, belt. So that's always nice when they do knock out that extra little attention to detail. We do have some extra fist hands going on, uh, but we also get these very nice taker, like, uh, this is when he kind of gets to the ring and raises his hands and the lights come on. So, very cool there. Could also use it for wanting to earn, which I'm not sure if he kind of did that earn uh, gimmick during this time or not. So, I do not know if that would make sense or not. But here we go to kind of uh, d doing the uh, throat thing that he does there. I don't know if that's a, a word we can say here on YouTube or not, but that kind of looks like he's doing that. Well, he's still kind of angry, but determined face, so very good there. And that's one thing I will say about these um, faces coming out of the package is these are great head sculpts. This is, of course, a just gnarly one, you know, very, you know, doing the doing the tombstone and, um, you know, putting them down for the one, two, three. So very cool there. And he does come with his kind of entrance robe, a nice pleathery, uh, leathery get up here. Should be easy to put on, especially with this being an Ultimate Edition. Should have no problems getting that on, but we'll do that before the video is over. But now, for the main event, The Undertaker. Again, very nice on the head sculpt. Let's go ahead and raise this up just a little bit so we have a little bit more playroom. So, very nice on the head sculpt there. That is Undertaker all day long. No mistake in there. Now he's got his tats, tats all the way down. No neck tat there, but he does have his side tats. Side tats there. On the back hair go down, goes down. And a few more tats. So, got that going on. Elbow pad. His little MMA style gloves. Artwork on the pants. 
you know, very, very taker-ish. Um, black boots, toe articulation, all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, kind of a plain taker, but you know what? I mean, you get what you get with taker. He's, he's wears black on black on purple or, or gray. You know, it's kind of is what it is. At least with this Undertaker, you do get a splash of color, which is a welcome welcome addition. And they even have a little splash of color there on his arm, too. But uh, definitely a good Undertaker that I think is, is made even better by the um, head sculpts here. These are just out of this world head sculpts. I think you can even tell on these eyes if you look if you look closely here you can kind of see the eye shadow around there so they even went that extra mile to do the eye shadow around his eyes to really give him that dark look but uh, let's get them all suited out and we'll give our final thoughts on the Undertaker Ultimate Edition all right we got them all suited out and man you know I figured that I was uh, you know not like ultra excited about but had a had a good feeling like okay this should be a fun one um not having a ton of nostalgia for it obviously as i said earlier but man what a cool cool figure this jacket looks great that face is just mind-blowing that's one of those that'll haunt you in the dreams jacket looks great uh hat looks great the clash with the gold uh big gold belt there looks just amazing just a super super cool looking figure and uh one i'm definitely happy to add to my WWE collection. Uh, but what about uh, you guys? A figure you dig, a figure you don't dig, you like The Undertaker, you don't like The Undertaker, or this is just another easy pass. I don't know how it could be if you're a wrestling fan, but hey, maybe it is for you. But uh, if it is or isn't, leave it down in the comments. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. See what you guys have to say. But uh, I think it's about time to get on out of here. But before we do, do us a favor, hit us with a like. Go ahead and leave that comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel as we post new content every single day. But for myself and Uncle BJ, it's time to throw one back. We'll see you all next time.